Hello again, everybody. Welcome to another segment of The Last Word. I'm Dan Roberts, publisher of The Vegas Voice, and our job is to present to you all the people running for elected office. We have a great one today, and that is Ms. Trish Nash, who is a candidate for Henderson City Council Ward 3. That's right. Thank you, Dan. My, Appreciate being here. Oh, listen, our pleasure. You know, let's start out with just a little bit about yourself, your experience, your background, et cetera, et cetera. All right. Well, I have been a Henderson resident for 21 years, uh, moved here from the Midwest, um, uh, grew up in Chicago. And uh, my husband and I own a successful real estate company located in Henderson in our ward, Ward 3. And um, I uh, have been very involved in the community for many, many years, uh, love my city. And um, in my spare time, which we don't have much these I'm days, sure, yeah. with uh, the campaign trail, my husband and I love to travel, we love to cycle. Uh, we have a dog, Lulu, and we recently went on a little RV trip with her. And uh, so we try to find a little time for pleasure. You know, one of the things that, again, when I research your background, you are extremely successful in your business in real estate. Mm -hmm. and, and obviously, in order to be successful, you must be extremely good at what you do. So my question is, being exactly what you're doing, very successful, being your own boss, why would anybody <laughs> want to get involved in politics these days? That question is asked a lot, uh, Dan. So I will let everyone else know. Um, you know, it's, uh, it's been a wonderful journey living in our city, watching our city grow. But one of the things that I do as a real estate broker is I sell Henderson. And I'm proud of our city. And uh, I've also been very involved in our community from a leadership standpoint, uh, chair of the Henderson, past chair of the Henderson Chamber of Commerce, um, chair of several boards. And um, I just reached a point where I saw that we've built a wonderful company and uh, it's time now to give back. I'm not gonna be quitting what I'm doing. I love real estate. I will continue to sell real estate. But um, I do a lot of volunteer work, and uh, I have time allocated for that, and I felt that now is the time for me to give back to the city and at a higher level. Mm -hmm. So here we are, and um, I'm excited about it. Then, you know, your vision for Henderson, assuming everything goes well, you get elected to Councilwoman Ward 3. What's your vision for Henderson? What would you like it to do? What would you like it to be? Well, I think our city has done an amazing job of getting to where we are now. And it's very exciting, especially as I said, I sell Henderson. Mm -hmm. And so one of the things that, uh, that I am constantly doing is, is uh, helping potential buyers know why they want to come here. And I want to continue to see our city grow at the level that it has been, um, but with a very strategic economic development. Economic development is very good for our community and it brings jobs to our community. But I, I just want to ensure that we continue to have uh, diverse sectors in our economy because we have relied for so many years, as we all know, on gaming. And um, our city has, up to this point, done a good job of bringing new companies in. So I want to be a part of that. I want to help our city grow in, uh, in a positive way. You know, we have been awarded um, for being one of the safest cities, second safe city in the, in the nation. And I'm proud of that, and that attracts people to our community. So I want to ensure that we continue to uh, move in that direction to have it be a city that attracts people from other locations. You know, and one of the things that we've run across is that you mentioned that again, you want the city to keep on growing and being smart about it and everything else. But you ask anybody and they say, well, how can it grow when there's a water problem with Lake Mead disappearing and getting lower mm -hmm. and lower? How do, how do you do both? Well, it's, uh, it's called conservation. And I think we've done a, a good job, not a great job, we've done a good job. When I first moved here, I moved here in 2000, and I think it was, uh, I don't have the years right, but maybe 2002, 2004, we started a very, very um, uh, campaign on water savings. 
but that hasn't been enough. So uh, there's been uh, recently a bill that was passed, I believe it's AB 356, that says that um, our community, the state of Nevada, must remove any non-usable turf. Mm -hmm. And that would be areas where, um, uh, if it's just a landscaper that's stepping on it, then that means it's not non-usable. But for parks, dog parks, those are still usable. So that has to be done by December 31st of 2026. So uh, in fact, the community where we have our office, Cadence has begun removing of uh, is, removal yeah. of, of grass. And there's going to be rebates involved with that for businesses and also residential. So I think that what has to happen is we all have to take a very serious look mm -hmm. at how we're using our water. And I believe that is now starting to happen. There's now going to, there, uh, the Southern Nevada Water Authority is now going to be implementing some serious fines. Right now we're, uh, we're only allowed to water one day a yep. week. Yep. And that's through February 28th. And uh, what is going to happen is those that are watering more than one day a week are now going to be fine. Whereas in the past, you know, you get away with it, but you can't do that anymore. So I think we all, as a community, have to work together and um, really focus on conservation. And I believe it can happen. Uh -huh. You know, and one other question again, because of the Vegas Voice and our readership, which are over 50, People who live in the Sun City communities, like Sun City Anthem, like Sun City McDonald Ranch in Henderson, where really you still represent everybody in the city of Henderson, what can you tell seniors? What reason should seniors vote for you to show that you care about them and that you really are interested in their problems? Well, I think track record. Uh, since I've moved here, I've been very, very involved in the community. And you know, you see a lot of candidates. All of a sudden, they're they're involved because right. they want to be seen. And um, I've been involved, being seen before I was even running for office because I care. And so I would say that number one, look at my track record. Number two, I believe I have the leadership skills that our city needs uh, in a city council position. And also, having run a small business successfully for almost 20 years, um, knowing how to balance a budget, knowing what it's like to write a check for employees. Uh, we, had, uh, we had our Christmas party last night for all of our staff. We had 49 people there. Oh, my. Okay. And, um, you know, so this is the kind of thing that is important for someone to, uh, to have had as, as background, and I think that that... that gives me the, uh, the knowledge and um, the skill sets that the community needs and someone who cares from their heart. It's not just talk. You know, something that you just brought up, the fact that you had a Christmas party, 49 employees, they know you as the boss. You, you know, they, can, they gotta be careful what they say about you, you're the boss. <laughs> now, assuming you get on the city council and, and someone comes up to you and says, you know, Miss Nash, you so-and-so, 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 how do you handle that as opposed to saying, wait a minute, get out. You know, if my, my employee talks to me like that, you're out of here. You have the temperament to do it? You think you can handle something like that? Absolutely. It's not easy. But one of the things that I've learned over the years in running a business and being in real estate, you have to have thick skin. And it didn't happen overnight. But, you know, through the years, I've just gotten the thick skin where it's callous now, where I, I really believe yeah. that I can, I can handle adversity. Do I like adversity? No, but is is it necessary being able to handle that, especially when we're dealing with, you know, a population of uh, I think we're at three hundred and forty thousand yeah. right now. There's a lot of people out there, and we can't make everyone happy. And that's one of the things that I have to realize. Even in the business world, I can't make everyone happy. I can't make all my employees happy. But you know what? I can certainly try. And I believe that as long as I tell them the truth. And they know that I am doing my best to look at their issue. They may not like the answer, mm -hmm. but at least if I'm honest with them, I believe that I will get the respect of the community. Let me ask you this. Can you guarantee that at least you'll listen to them with an open mind? You may not agree with them, but at least I hear you. I understand what you're saying, but I disagree because of. I think that's really what people want. Even if you disagree with the politician, he, he or she listened to me. 
You think you can do that? Absolutely, because that's a skill set I had to learn in running a business, mm -hmm. is we may have a client, and it's and I will tell you, it is rare, but, but we do occasionally have somebody that they're, they're just not happy. And they just want to know that I'm listening to them. Correct. And we talk it through. And I will tell you, nine time, 99 times out of 100, they walk away feeling that they were heard and happy. They, they may not like the, the, answer, the answer, but at least they know I took the time. And that's what I believe is very critical in a role as city council. Because a lot of times people feel that, oh yeah, you're, you're gonna get elected, and once you're elected, you know, yeah. sayonara, right. goodbye. Yeah. And, uh, and I, I wanna commit to everyone out there that, that I will be there for them. Right. And if people want more information with, with the few seconds that we have left, they want more information about you, they wanna volunteer, maybe con contribute to your campaign, how do they reach you? Best way to reach me is my website, vote for trishnash.com, vote the number four or the word for trishnash.com. And you can sign up to volunteer. You can get more information about my platform, a little bit of my history. And if you'd like to make, to, uh, like to make a donation to the campaign, you can do that as well. It's always welcome. I thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Hopefully we'd like to have you on again as the election gets closer and closer so we can get all the issues and everything else. So again, I thank you so much for being here. Thank you. And thanks to all the listeners out there. And this is Dan Roberts of The Vegas Voice for the last word saying thank you, and we will see you again soon. Bye.